In this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a digital product shop in Squarespace 7.0 and then 7.1 as well. So this is a 7.1 shop and it does have some uh, physical goods as well, but most of it is digital. And this is 7.0. So if you are on um, a 7.0 site, the way that you would design the page would be you come to your, you can either do it in primary navigation or you can do a not linked. Primary navigation means that your shop is gonna show up up here. So if you wanna just kind of hide it at first, do it under not linked, click the plus, and you will choose the little dollar sign, which will be a store. From there, you're not allowed to do a lot, a lot of customizations to that actual shop page. So you are given the intro, and with the intro, that's where you would add any text you want, maybe a photo. This particular client has two images that have text on the left and the image on the right. Um, kind of promoting them to go a couple different places. And then all of the products are down here. So this is where you would click the plus and uh, she just created her images in Canva and then exported the images and um, added them. So we can maybe go into one of them even so you can see it. Added the details, the images, the price of course. Um, make sure the visibility and so on and so forth. So that is how you do it in 7.0. 7.1, what I love about this is they allow for categories. So if you have different types of products, they can click on self-care plans and it'll filter just the self-care plans. So again, going into the background, you same way you can do it under main navigation or not linked with the plus button, you choose shop as the template. That's gonna start you off really well. And then um, you can add the, uh, if you wanted to do a digital download, you would just click that. And it kind of just guides you right through it. So we'll go to one of these and you can see what it looks like. Here is the page that they would land on um, where you can add all the information that they need. This is when they click pay now what so you can kind of design this but it's unfortunately you don't get a ton of design capabilities for this particular um, checkout page. If you go we'll edit this. This is where you can add all the details, the description, the image of course. Um, if you have a certain amount of inventory, usually it's you have as much as you want so you just add the price. And then make sure that you add the category so that it can filter it if you want to do that. Um, connect your taxes if that is something that is applicable for your business. And um, you can change up the custom button. All of these products will be delivered via email. Unfortunately, with Squarespace, um, it's, it's just kind of an email with like a link that says download your uh, digital download and it expires in 24 hours. So that is just kind of a in some ways annoying things, but annoying thing, but in another way it encourages them to actually download and consume it. So it has its benefits, but you can always go in and just kind of get more of a back end look, but I would just suggest um, setting up that. And then um, I have like this, what I did to the actual page is I added a section. So this is unlike 7.0, with 7.1 you can have more customizations and I added a section. Um, and then have three images here, along with obviously a line and uh, just kind of designing it, but three images and um, the square around it is a custom code, but then this allows again more, for more filtering. So you can add more sections just to design that page if you want. Uh, if you have any more questions, I obviously didn't go super in depth into it, but hopefully this gave you a broad overview of the difference between 7.0 and 7.1 and um, selling products on Squarespace.